Hello everyone, I'm going coming on here to talk about um, my perspective on shadow work and um, light work and the difference between them and um, some other things. But uh, yeah, I've used both of, the, both of these terms or whatever you want to call them, shadow work and light work. I've done both of them in my path and I really... Uh, want to share what I think works for me and um, yeah where I've come from and like where I am now but uh, I would like to say that I actually used to do more uh, the shadow work approach or what do you whatever you want to call it which is more just kind of focusing on the past focusing on negative things in your past and focusing on uh, what um brings you down or the negative emotions uh and such and uh, and releasing those and keep focusing on those and just keep releasing them every time they come up but i have realized that uh <laughs> that does get old after a while and you actually have to progress after that certain after doing that so because you don't want to keep focusing on the negative like what <laughs> what if there's not much negative left like it doesn't mean you need to keep focusing on those negative type emotions all the time or and stuff so what I do now is a little different or it's a lot different I, I would say I never really f I did focus I would say most people they do focus on the negative in their lives most people do that and um they focus on the, what's wrong and uh in their life and and that's what they're creating more of because <laughs> i keep focusing on that on what, what's wrong in their life and and such but i think shadow work is a little bit better than <laughs> just focus it's a little it's a little step up in vibration from what's focusing on what is wrong in your life so if i had a choice to pick the, the between those <laughs> I'd probably pick shadow work, you know, because it's you're at least you're paying attention to what you're thinking and you're paying attention to your emotions and you're you're starting to awaken a little bit. So that's where I think shadow work comes into play and uh, and such. But what I like doing now is a little different. I um, do something called light work, I guess you could call it, or you focus more on the high vibrational things in your life, the light and the love and the peace and the trust and the truth of who you are and focus on who you really are inside. And I think that is far more superior than shadow work will ever be. But uh, it it's hard to go from <laughs> focusing on all the negative things in your life to get start focusing on the, on the amazing things in your life. You know what I mean? Or if, like, if you're really entrenched in a certain uh, vibration, it's hard to get from one place to another. So it might take time. But I really like um, light work because and it shows appreciation and it really raises your vibration because you're sh sh you're grateful for the things in your life and you're grateful for the love and and you focus on the light and that actually <laughs> the more you focus on the light the more you are creating more of the light and you you uh, transmute the darkness that is within and. I think that's really cool. Like you don't really have to focus on the darkness. The the light will literally transmute the darkness like as it comes up. It will just immediately transmute in your aura and stuff. And I think that's where where your team comes into play and really helping uh getting your team to help you become a uh, more light filled <laughs> and handing off those negative thoughts and handing off this and that. You don't necessarily need to focus on them all the time or anal overanalyze everything. That's why I think shadow work is, that's where it's down, downfall is, is where you, you kind of just overanalyze the emotion and this and that. Or why am I feeling this and this? And maybe that's good for some people at a certain point, but eventually sometimes it feels like you need to kind of move out of that into something that's more high vibrational. And you just focus on the light. And then when the negative comes up, you just hand it off to your team or your team can help you transmute the stuff within you and come and pull the stuff literally out of your heart. And I've noticed that 
I have had some trauma in my past and through many things I've experienced in my heart and it's mainly in my heart and my team they pull it out of me and they're still pulling it out of me I don't have as it wasn't as bad as it was at first it would kind of hurt more but they they just pull it out out of me like and what it really helped me uh, Jesus helped me with this and um, pulling this density out of me and also my guardian angels as well but he really helped with the uh, marijuana and the, the drugs and things like that. That's what I think he's really, really good at and alcohol and stuff like that. But yeah, I feel like a shadow work is a little bit, you get, <laughs> you can get real serious with it. And I don't, I don't like that aspect of it. <laughs> you give all your focus and to the shadow side and you're embracing your, like I don't I mean maybe this is your thing but I don't want to embrace the shadow side because I feel like it's uh why would you want to embrace the dark aspects of you I, I don't see see that can really make you that happy in the long run if you're embracing these the side of yourself or the ego or that or maybe acknowledge that it's there or just and just focus on the light that's what I do more of I just I like focusing on the light inside of me and the light um, and outside of me and that's how I want to be sometimes I do feel down and I feel down a lot I mean but I always am moving into the light every single time moving into a better feeling place and that's the most important thing and not embracing my shadow side or this or that I think that's a little silly honestly but that's just my opinion and my perspective on that Yeah, sometimes I feel like shadow work can be pretty helpful, especially for people who have been through a lot of pain or very entrenched and like, or early on in their childhood. And it, it can be nice to get like, get some of that out and like focus on it for a while and dig deep and dig in and get, get, get it through and maybe see a counselor and tell them your negative experiences and just get it out of you almost and like cry it out, whatever you can do. And even with light work, I do, uh, I do cry and cry the things out and I, I'll cry the, um, negative emotions out sometimes. And I think it feels so good. And then you just breathe in the light afterwards. And I think that's amazing. And, uh, one thing that I do not like about shadow work, I guess it's just, it, you do focus on the negative a little bit too much, but one thing I did when I was first starting out, I never fo fully did shadow work, I, I guess you could say. I would release the negative emotion, and then I would bring in, and I would release more negative emotions, and then I would bring in the positive emotions and the positive programming, the positive light, and um, my team would help me do that, bring in the positive and uh, the new earth <laughs> programming in, and that really helped me a lot, and that was amazing for me at that time, but now I don't feel like I have to keep doing, going in the trenches, digging deep and doing all this. You know? I feel like I, I'm kind of turning the corner into the light now and it feels better to, I just feel a lot happier and that I don't have to keep focusing on those negative aspects of myself. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. And also, I feel like if you do focus on the light and the light work, you you train yourself to stay more into the moment and mo more of what's going on at the moment. And you're calmer and um, you're not as on edge all the time and serious. You're more laid back, more relaxed. And I really like that part of myself <laughs> and being in a space of allowing, allowing things to be, allowing people to be who they are. Allowing myself to be who I am at this point, that's really been amazing for me because if I'm allowing myself to be who I am at this moment, then it's easier for me to allow others to be the way that they choose, which is really cool. And it's it feels good because in light work, you're anchoring the light and the love and it, into your body and that angers it into the earth and it grounds you more and it grounds you more into the moment. And if, and I, and I'll, I always say like, I want to feel good. If I'm feeling down, like I want to feel good. Like I'll say that I want, 
it doesn't matter sometimes the emotion that I'm feeling in the moment. I'm not avoiding the emotion. That's important. <laughs> I used to do, I've done this as well. <laughs> avoiding the emotion that I'm feeling. Like uh, one time I sprained my ankle in soccer and uh, I was avoiding all these emotions that were coming up about me spraining my ankle. And, and before that, I was, what led me to sprain my ankle were some negative thought patterns while I was playing <laughs> about myself. And I was avoiding those and uh, blindly being positive all the time in this. That's not very good to do that either. <laughs> but once I got real with myself and felt those emotions, I was able to connect to source and love way easier and the light way easier and we'll have a deeper connection. If I'm just like, if I'm avoiding all these emotions that I have in my side myself and I'm just, oh, I'm just going to connect to the light and the source and I'm avoiding, just avoiding the uh, emotions. I won't let them f surface, come to the surface. That can be a trap because <laughs> I've done that before and it's not very fun. So I think if you just feel those emotions, what do you have to do to cry them out? This or that. That's very important as well. And then those are just not, and that's why I like light work. Those emotions naturally just come up to the surface as you focus on the light, as you move forward in your spiritual growth and your spiritual path, because there's always road bumps, but uh, you can, it's, it's so much easier to like grow and go faster with things in light work because it's just, it kind of just uh, falls away. It crumbles away. It's like nothing. I honestly, I laugh at the way I used to think <laughs> it's pretty funny, but uh I think that's the best way to do it is just to laugh at some of the negative uh, ways of thinking like because like why well, was like thinking like that <laughs> and then like you feel so good after you cry things out and that I think that's really important or, I mean for some people I wouldn't say it's good to laugh I guess but I like laughing at the uh I'm at myself sometimes I think that's really important and uh one last thing I wanted to talk about was like being in a healthy environment for this is very important. Being in an environment around happier people in a in just a more of a high vibrational space, high, high vibrational place is very important for this kind of growth, uh, especially for light work, I would say. It's much easier to focus on the light when you have light-filled people. And if you're more light-filled and if you're in a light-filled environment and there's amazing nature to go off in and do all these things, I, I would say that, and people that really like themselves and love themselves, or at, le at least to a certain extent, because, you know, I was used to be around, like, when I used to do more of the kind of shadow work approach a little bit, and would release that, and then this and that, I was, folk I was um, in a more negative environment with around people that don't really, are just unawake and ungrounded, and all kinds of stuff, just very negative environment, which is okay. I've learned so much from that experience and nothing can take that away from me. But yeah, that's what I would say about your environment. <laughs> yeah, and I think one of the most important things that I never, never uh, <laughs> did was I never called in my team. I had so much, so much help on the other side and I never called them in until I started watching Kristen's videos and Ashley's videos and they, they just helped me so much with working with my team and because they really are part of your guidance system like we come here with our guardian angels and spirit guides and whatever you want archangels and stuff and they're part of our guidance system they, they're here to help us and it's it's almost like <laughs> why would you not uh, tap into that it's like amazing experiences because they can help you so much because most, because uh, beforehand I would rely on myself, like completely. Like I was just relying on myself, and maybe I would connect to source, and only I was like only connect to source, and only do this, and only trust myself, and kind of live and surround myself with light all the time, and kind of lived a little bit a lot in fear of uh, who I am and the things around me. And I don't think that's healthy either. I think it's very good to. Uh, focus on the light and to bring in the energies that are uh, given to us by uh, archangels all kinds of stuff <laughs> it's it's amazing like your guardian angels like help you like through every single moment of the day and you can help feel they can you can feel your 
their love for you at any moment. And that's truly amazing. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, this was just, I needed to get this off my chest. And I thought it was really cool that I, just seeing this growth within myself and seeing the difference between shadow work and light work is pretty funny. Like I never knew what light work was until like, I think Kristen made a video on Mary Magdalene uh, and light work. And she was saying shadow work wasn't, maybe not be the best thing to do all the time for some people. And um, I was like, I naturally do that anyways. So I'm just gonna call it light work, but uh, thanks for uh, coming on and watching me.